Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're pouring and nosing and swirling and tasting and scoring Lucky 7, 14 year Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, single barrel. This video might turn into what some film critics would consider to be a romantic comedy. Except for there's nothing funny about what's in these sons of bitches. These bottles say Lucky 7 on them because you'll be lucky if I get 7 seconds into this video before I do a back handspring into a triple backflip and stick the landing over my excitement for what we have in store with these single barrel pours. Before I get too fired up, over this single barrel bourbon, I need to let you know that today's video is brought to you by our wonderful and great friends over at IntoTheAM.com. IntoTheAM.com is the provider for like 80% of my wardrobe. The other 20% of my wardrobe super sucks. IntoTheAM.com has all the t-shirts from basic tees with just a little Into The AM logo on your gigantic jacked chest. They also have graphic tees like this one. There's a brain on it, there's a heart on it. So you know if you can think, you can love. And if you love to think, this Into The AM t-shirt is a no-brainer. As one of the most popular bands in America, Da Youpers once said, they got that cow noor, they got that horse noor, they got that pig noor, they got all sorts of shit for sale. Tank tops, t-shirts, sweatshirts, bomber jackets, underpants, hats, whatever you want to cover your body with, intotheam.com has it. And if you click my link in the description below, you'll use code ADHD10 at checkout and you'll save yourself 10%. Thank you Into The AM for sponsoring this video and thank you for constantly supporting this channel. Today I'm spoiling myself and I'm pouring myself a tall glass of what the heck is that? Let me tell you what the heck it is. It's Lucky 7, 14 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, single barrel. They call it the proprietor. What is the definition of proprietor? Your guess is as good as mine. Proprietor probably means pro, which means it's the best. Priter, priter, which is a slang term for a locksmith. Like, I pry her door open. And this proprietor has the key to my heart. America. Sounds like a little bit of lovemaking on a $10 bed frame. Lucky 7 is a non-producing distiller or a non-distilling producer, whichever way you look at it. They currently have a few different releases on the market. There's the Proprietor, which is a single barrel product. There's the Hold Up, which will stop you in your tracks it's so good. There's the Jokester, which isn't clowning around because it's still a six year Kentucky bourbon. And then there's the Holiday Toast, a double oaked product. Somehow, some way, Michael and John, the folks behind Lucky Seven Spirits, got to sourcing some whiskey and got to sourcing some good stuff. The two proprietor bottles that I have here today are both 14 years old. They're both from Kentucky and they do not sucky. They are a so good. This particular Lucky Seven proprietor that is resting in my tiny man hand is barrel number 79. Barrel number 72. This particular barrel was reviewed by BreakingBourbon.com and got astounding scores. So naturally, I had to see what all the fuss was about. And I found out what that fuss was about, and now I'm going to share that fuss with you by sitting here and having a drink or two. The Lucky 7 bottle is beautiful. It's shaped wonderfully. The branding is beautiful. Love the branding so much. So Lucky 7 was founded by two dudes from Chicago who then went to California and got like all Hollywood and released this beautiful bottle with movie tickets on it or show tickets or like Broadway tickets or something. And they chose Bardstown Bourbon Company to do their bottling. 
So if you're at Bardstown Bourbon Company, you will find some of the Lucky 7 bottles in their gift shop. If you know anything about me and what I prefer in a bourbon, you'll know that I love big, bold, old Kentucky bourbon. And guess what? That's what. Not only are these proprietor 14-year single barrels 14 years old, but guess what else they are? A barrel proof. And this isn't your Aunt Betsy's barrel strength. No, no ma'am. This barrel strength the bugger rings in at a hundred and thirty. This barrel strength the bugger rings in at a hundred and thirty-four point four proof, which is a lot. It's cons it's considerably a lot. It's worth mentioning. So if you're not a fan of extra aged barrel proof Kentucky bourbon, then hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. In 2022, we're living in a day where old age statements are going away. Those days are long gone, long gone. Kind of like when your mom found out that your dad pawned off all her costume jewelry and real jewelry and bought himself a new zero turn riding lawnmower and a case of bush lattes. She gone. Going in for the nose on barrel 72. Good God almighty. Oh, wow. Biff Tannen, that's a lot of sweet barrel. Sweet strawberry cream oak. Chocolate chips, little bit of Nutella. Cherry Coke, little bit of cherry Coke. Red velvet cake. A lot of reviews I go into not knowing if I'm going to enjoy the bottle or not. I don't know exactly how the review is going to go. This one, I knew it was going to go well because, as Forrest Gump would say, I drank some. However, I'm actually surprised because it smells even better than I remember. Gilbert Gottfried, RIP. That smells good. This is so incredible. I haven't tasted it yet, and I am both extremely happy that I'm able to taste this, yet also extremely upset because I want to pick a barrel of this stuff so bad. Lucky 7 Proprietor, single barrel, 14 year, down my love tunnel. to get over how good that shit is. First sip of whiskey for the day, and it did what I expected it to do. It entered my mouth, stuck its flag into my tongue, and took over. The warm Kentucky hug is hugging so hard. The finish is still lingering. There's a nice oaky cinnamon finish that's just residing on the back of my palate. The finish is lingering so long that it's gotten squatter's rights. It's traditional bourbon flavors. It's sweet cherry and sweet caramel, tons of brown sugar, lots of barrel influence. If you found the world's best red licorice and got it shit-faced and then aged it in an oak barrel for 14 years, it's like oak cola. It's oak cola mixed with all the best berries. Bottles like this make me appreciate bourbon so much and what bourbon can be. I don't know how else to say it. I'm just super impressed. I'm just super impressed. And that's all I got to say about that. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on putting a sticker on one of these single barrel bottles or a neck tag. Ooh, a neck tag or a sticker. 2020, world's top whiskey tasters. 2022, single barrel bourbon of the year. I don't know how many of these 14 year old barrels they have laying around. It can't be very many. It can't be, right? Like maybe a handful, maybe, I don't know. But I do know that 
I would do a lot of dirty and creepy and crazy things in order to be able to do a barrel pick of this. I would do some stuff. I bet you in the comments below you can't name 10 things I wouldn't do in order to get my grubby hands on a barrel of this stuff. Bet you can't name 10. And if you can name 10, then you are a dirty person. You are a dirty person. I would cave dive where that soccer team got trapped. I'd do that. And there's not a crack in that cave that I could fit through. But I would try. Did this romantic comedy turn into a lusty, busty sex novel? <laughs> yeah, I did. And I apologize about that. But when I come across something that I love so much, I have to share it. And I don't care it if you don't like it. So suck on that. Have a good night. And cut. I'd bite that off a snapping turtle to do a single barrel pick of this.